Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing an updated what is on my iPhone video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I was like, why not film one? They take forever to edit because of like the whole screen being recorded, but it's fine. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed and also turn on your post notifications as well as follow me on Instagram because I would love to have you as a follower on Instagram. So this model is the iPhone 12 Pro. Uh, I don't have the Max because the the bigger version is just too big. I had the XS or the 10s Max and it was just really large and I couldn't like text with one hand and it was just so frustrating. So I decided to go with the smaller phone this time around when I upgraded. Um, I guess without further ado, I'm just gonna try to do this uh, screen recordy thing and we're recording. So this is my lock screen. I'm just gonna unlock it by doing that and let's get started. So first we have my reminders. I have a reminder in there to take my pill that I need to take like every day just because I might forget. And then like if I have any bills, I'll always have like a reoccurring notification just to make sure that I've like paid that on time or whatever. It's really convenient. And then I have my notes app, which this is just like uh, what it looks like. I have all of my notes in my iCloud, so all of my Apple devices will have all my notes. And then I've tried to organize it um, in folders. So I have personal, and then I have work, um, and then I have YouTube. So I have like all my YouTube ideas and anything related to YouTube. Work is for like my other job, and then personal is like everything else. And then I have my calendar. This is just always how my home screen looks. So if you've seen any of my other what's on my iPhone videos, they all look the same pretty much. Um, and then I have my calculator. Then I have YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed. Gotta, gotta support my own channel there. Um, and then I have Google Maps. I always use Google Maps. I know a lot of people like Waze, but I just really like Google Maps. Um, and then I have my clock, wallet. I actually love using Apple Pay. So if you guys haven't set up your Apple Pay, I really suggest doing that because it's so convenient. Then I have my mail. So that mail app is actually just for like personal use only. It doesn't have anything to do with like YouTube or my other job. Then the Outlook email is for my job um, at the TV station. I like to keep everything separate so I don't get confused. And then I have my big weather app, but I also have like, I think it's called a carousel. I don't know, but you can like flip through like I'm kind of doing right now. I just have this, but I like to keep it on the weather just cause I like seeing the weather. It's convenient to have there and then I have my app store and honestly the only reason why I have the app store in that location is because it's blue and as you guys can see like I have blue across kind of and then blue down like after the YouTube and reminders so there's not a good reason why I have that one there but it's all color coordinated sort of kind of and then I have my Gmail and this is where I get like all my YouTube emails anything like dealing with social media stuff it comes to my Gmail account and then I have Facebook, which is pretty personal. But if you wanna follow my Facebook page, um, just type in like Alex Jane, it's probably like the first thing that'll pop up. If you guys wanna follow it, that would be like super cool. This is what it looks like. It's just everything that's on my Instagram, but on Facebook. And I have like 400 followers on there. So if you guys wanna follow me on there, it'd be nice to have a bigger platform on like Facebook. And then I have finance, which not all of this stuff is finance. I don't know why the folder's named that, but basically I just have my bank app, uh, another bank app, PayPal, Safari. I don't know why Safari is in there. It's just really convenient to have it there. Uh, Messenger, I really hate Facebook Messenger. Does anyone else hate that app? Because I don't really like it a lot. Then I have Venmo. I only use that to pay like two people um, for like when me and my friends go places. The rest I kind of just use PayPal. And then I have the YouTube Studio app, which just allows me to see like subscribers, analytics, comments, all of that. I'm sure you guys know what that is. And then I have TubeBuddy, which is like a search engine tool to help optimize your videos, which I don't know, I don't even use it now. So I think I am gonna probably cancel my subscription pretty soon. Then I just have another banking app, Discover. Then I have eBay. ADP Mobile is how I put in my hours for my job. I normally do that on the computer, but I just have the mobile app just in case. This Smart Lock app is basically what controls like my Gmail and protects it. So that app goes with the Titan Google security key 
and lock and protection or whatever. I just think it's good to have. Then I have Amazon. I try to keep all of like the shopping stuff on the second page so it's like it'll take me longer to get there even if I want to shop so that's why I kind of like hide these. And then I have the Luca and Gray app. I really like her app. Whoever designed it did a really good job. I haven't shopped there in a while. So here's like my orders. Oh, I'm not signed in, but this is what it kind of looks like. They've organized it really well and it's very like aesthetically pleasing. And then I just have Fidelity for like savings and like investing. I don't really like invest that much. I have no idea what I'm doing when, when it comes to that. And then I have settings obviously, and then my camera. And then I have Twitter, but Twitter, I kind of just use for private now. Like I'm trying to block like all of these accounts that like are inactive slash I don't really know in real life just because I don't know, Twitter's just not really for social media influencers, like YouTubers or anything like that anymore. So I'm trying to like keep that private, like my, my account's private. So you don't really need to follow me on there. Um, and then I have Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. You can DM me cause my DMs are like always open. Um, really working hard on the feed. Like I think my pictures are like a lot better than they were. So check that out if you haven't. Also my TikTok, follow me on TikTok because I'm trying to like work harder on it. Um, but this is just kind of like my feed. I don't get any views on there. I don't know how people get views on TikTok really because it's just so hard. You just have to rely on the algorithm. Like there's no like, oh, let's clickbait this. Like with YouTube, it's kind of easy because you can kind of like clickbait or make something more dramatic. But with, you know, with TikTok, you just like post a random video and then like pray it does well. Or you work so hard on like learning a dance or putting together the TikTok and then it just like flops and you get like five views. And I'm like, why did I spend time on that? Like, that's ridiculous. That is very low return and investment with time. That's why I try not to like focus on it, but I do have it because it's like up and coming, I feel like, and I, I don't know guys. And then I have photo and video. So these are all the apps that I really use. Um, so I have my Lightroom. And this is basically just what it looks like. I have some presets on here and I just kind of like try to organize my photos a little bit. Right now on my Instagram, I'm using the Bianca Franco presets and I'm using these. So this is her spring collection presets that I use. And then I also bought her other pack. And then I also bought her Moody preset, which is pretty cool. They're good for like, the Moody one's really good for like beach photos. So um, that's basically what I use to edit my Instagram photos. And then Facetune, I only really use this app um, to like cover a pimple if I have one or flip a photo, but now you can do that in the iPhone camera photo app. And then also Lightroom has that feature, so I don't really use that one too much. And then I have Camera Connect, which connects to your Canon camera, which is convenient. I don't really use that one though. I've only used it like a couple times. And then I have Unfold, which Unfold is good for like stories. And this is what I use for my progress photos. So in this app, I just have like my projects and sometimes it takes longer to load. So I have this little template and then I have my like workout photos as you guys can see. And then I have the like to know it app which is for linking like outfits and stuff so as you guys can see this is kind of what the creator side looks like and i made two dollars woohoo um but yeah this is what this app looks like you can get affiliate links from this site and everything like that so that's basically what like to know it is if you're wondering um if you ever see that little icon then insta size i actually did a little like sponsored post on Instagram for them and they're a really cool app. I really only use it to make my photos, like to make covers for like my reels or my IGTVs. That's pretty much what I use that for. Um, and then preview is an amazing app. This is kind of what I use to plan my Instagram feed. So this is what my Instagram feed looks like. And then I have this post coming, the green one in the top left. And then I have Retouch, which is an amazing photo editing app, which I found, I think on TikTok. But basically you can go in and then cover up, like let's say I wanted to remove like this thing in the back here. All you do is use your finger to like erase things and it looks amazing. Anyway, um, moving on, this is the Tezza app and 
I don't know really why I picked this app to buy. Um, it's kind of, it's good, but I just don't really use it a lot. I bought like the year subscription, but I think I only got it to put a preset on one of my videos because you can't do that in the Lightroom app and that really sucks, but it's fine. Moving on, I have Discord. Discord's so entertaining for like, you know, forums and stuff, just like reading. Then I have the Power 95.3 app. It's just a radio station around here that I like listening to. Sometimes I listen to that when I go on runs and stuff. Um, but I haven't really been using that a lot. Then I have the Couch to 5K app, and this app is basically what I use to like do my runs. I'm thinking about getting the 10K one, um, but I don't know if I wanna commit to that, so I'm just kind of thinking about it. And then I have the Eros Scale app, and this basically like tracks your weight and everything. And you can like see it graphically, and like it measures like all these like metrics about your body, which is really cool. I did a video with them. Um, they're a really great company to work with. I really like them. Um, and then I have the Starbucks app, which we've been getting Starbucks a lot more lately. So that's why I decided to get the app and like try to get rewards. And then I forgot to show the, the control bar or whatever it's called. So I have my music, photos, phone, and then messages. And then all of this stuff. I wish you could organize the app library the way you want to but unfortunately they just like choose for you. But going down, um, these are like all of my apps. I don't have all of my apps on my home screen and stuff cause I don't really use them a lot. So there's probably stuff in here I can delete, but I have ADP, I already covered that. Amazon, Amazon Alexa, App Store, Apple Store, um, books, which I don't use books at all really. Um, and then I have the calculator, calendar camera, the camera connect, chase, Clock, Contacts, Discord, one of my favorites. Um, Discover, the Walt Disney World, my Disney Experience app, the DJI Go. Okay, so quick story time with this app. I have a drone, right? It's not that one. It's like, I think it's this one. But I have this drone and I took it to Ohio because I wanted to fly it over the house that we we're selling um, and the controller I think got overheated cause it's not working at all. So I could probably delete that app. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the drone. Cause like, I don't know, the drone is just giving me like problems like ever since ever. So it was a good like fun thing to have, but like now I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's like freaking broken and I don't know what to do. Before it like got overheated or whatnot, a while ago, the thing wouldn't charge. And then it started charging and I was like, yes. Then I have eBay and then the Aeroscale, then Facebook, Facetunes, Fairwinds, Fidelity, Find My iPhone, which that comes in handy a lot of the time when you misplace things. Um, and then the Fly Delta app. Again, I don't use that one a lot. I just have it for uh, one of my friend's bachelorette parties. So we got plane tickets and then it got canceled because of COVID and everything like that, but I still have the app. Um, and then I have Gmail and then Google Maps. Um, then I have the health app and then I have iMovie, which oh, guys, if you guys have ever edited things on iMovie, it's crazy now because like they crop your video. Look at this. I don't want a square video. Like I want it at least 1280 by 720p. Like, come on people. Okay. Anyway, I don't know why I still have that because I don't even use it. I really only use, um, my computer to edit. Then I have Instacart, which luckily we haven't had to use that in a while. Then I have Instagram, Instasize, iTunes, LensBuddy. LensBuddy is how I take all of my photos. So basically you just turn on the app and then it'll count down. So it looks like this. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. I don't know if it's recording or not, but Each second it um, snaps photos and you just place your camera and then you go to wherever you want to stand and then bam, there's your photos. So it's so convenient, especially when you only have yourself to take photos. It's just a lifesaver app. If there's any app that I think you should get for your phone, it's definitely LensBuddy if you're into like taking pictures and stuff. Um, then I have Lightroom, LinkedIn, um, like to know it, Luke and Gray, Lyft. I barely use some of those apps, um, like LinkedIn. It just like notifies me that you have like eight notifications and then I open the app just so it'll like be quiet. Um, then I have mail, maps, 
messages, messenger, music, my Cricut. Um, Cricut is my carrier, my phone carrier. Then I have notes, Outlook. Um, the Pamela Reef app is so cool. Um, I like it, but I like never use it. And that's why it's like in this part of my phone because I honestly never use it. Then I have PayPal, phone, photos, Pinterest, podcasts, Poshmark, Power95.3, preview, Prime Video. Again, I don't ever use that one because um, we have Prime Video on our TV. Then I have the Canon printer, which is convenient because now I can just like print anything from my phone. Um, Reddit, if you guys use Reddit or like read Reddit, can you let me know like how to work it? Like, I don't know why I have that. It's probably just because everyone has it. And I don't know. I just find it to be kind of hard to use. It's like, I don't even know what thread I'm reading half of the time, but I don't really go on it. Then I have Reminders, Retouch. Retouch is also another app you should definitely get if you are looking to get a new app on your phone. Um, and then I have Safari settings, Simply Safe security system we have. It's not, this is not sponsored whatsoever, but Simply Safe is like really good. Um, and it notifies you anytime there's like motion sensed by the camera. Then I have Smart Lock, Starbucks, Apple Support, which I recently downloaded for my computer. Then I have Microsoft Teams, and then the Tezza app, TikTok, Translate. I think that just comes on the phone because I don't really need that. Then TubeBuddy, then Apple TV, Twitch. Again, I never go on Twitch. I just have that app. Then I have Twitter, Uber, Unfold, USPS Mobile, and that's just to track packages because sometimes I sell things on eBay and then I just want to make sure the people like get their package. Then I have Venmo, Wallet Weather, um, a Channel 9 app, Yelp, they changed their app, that kind of looks cool. Um, YouTube, YouTube Studio, and then the 5K Runner. That's pretty much all I have on my phone. I don't like keeping a bunch of stuff on my phone, so. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.